You want to be consoled. You want to be happy. You want to find new life and new hope again. The second key is to learn the art of mourning. To learn the art of crying. To learn the art of being sad. Yes, mourning, crying, sadness should be an art that we must discover and live by. Mourn for what? Before I answer the question, I will tell you the reality of the world where we live in. So many people are accepting and standing up and saying, I am not a saint. I am not good. I have disobeyed the commandments. But there are two types of people who say they are not saints, they have disobeyed the commandments. The first type of people are those who say, I have been stubborn, I have rejected God, I know the Ten Commandments, but I want to be a saint, I want to go to heaven. So therefore, I'm asking God to change the Ten Commandments so that I can go to heaven. The other type of people are those who say, I am a sinner. I know the Ten Commandments. And I have violated all the Ten Commandments. I only ask God to help me so that even if I have violated all the Ten Commandments, He can still lift me up from my dirt and then give me a chance to go to heaven. That is the art of mourning. The art of mourning is the art of being able to apologize and take responsibility for our mistakes. And the art of mourning will restore to us the joy of being forgiven. The art of sadness for our sins. The art of crying for our sins. The art of contrition is going to lead us again to that renewed joy that is given to those who have been touched by the mercy of God. Mourning should be an art. We should not run away from it. Because mourning for your sins is an important component of our discipleship of the Lord. And people who do not mourn will not be able to receive consolation. That is the great problem of our time. When we want to receive consolation, but we are not willing to go through conversion. When we are asking the Lord to forgive us, and yet we are not asking the Lord to strengthen us in our resolve to change our lives. You want forgiveness, but you are not even asking for it. You want mercy, but you are not changing your life. To correct somebody an error is an act of mercy. And the church must never be a dispenser of cheap grace. And what is cheap grace? Cheap grace is offering forgiveness to those who are not even repentant. Cheap grace is offering consolation for those who are not willing to mourn for their sins. Cheap grace is asking to move forward, to move on, even if they are denying that they did something in the past. Blessed are those who mourn for the mistakes they have done. Blessed are those who mourn for the sins they have committed. Blessed are those who mourn and cry for the imperfections, for the wrinkles, for the faults that have made them ugly. I have been darkened by sin. I have been wounded by sin. I have been crushed and broken by sin. And I mourn for myself. And when I mourn for myself, I say, Lord, change me. And when the Lord changes me, the Lord whispers to me, Be consoled, my child. Your sins are forgiven. There is joy in mourning. And that art of mourning is the art of mourning for your own sins. That art of mourning, of grief, of sadness, of crying, because I have failed the Lord. 
an apology is important. To take responsibility for the sins of the past is important. Please do not ask for the opportunity to move on into the future if you are not willing to take a step back into the past and say, I am sorry. Because if you ask for forgiveness without saying, I am sorry, you are telling God and the church to be a dispenser of cheap grace. And it should not be so. Because the mercy of the Lord came with a price. It is the body and blood, the passion, death, and resurrection of Christ. Mother Teresa was right. Heaven isn't cheap, you know. But God has made it easy for us to go to heaven through the sufferings of Jesus Christ. But in your case, learn the art of mourning. Learn the art of crying because the tears will not only wash your eyes, the tears will also wash your heart. The tears will also cleanse your soul. Behold, I make all things new. Be consoled, my people. Mourn for your sins.